Hello everybody and welcome back. I'm ready to get started on our very first deity quest. I'm going to speak to Hrath here behind me and uh, he's kind of looking at me funny. It's like, lady, you just kind of show up and you don't talk to me and then you just kind of stand there. So we, we, we better make our introduction. Hello, sir. I was told that I could speak to you. You are a prophet of Bertoxilus. Hmm. A curious thing. Decay, that is. The moment a living creature draws its last breath, the putrefaction process begins. Almost immediately, the body begins to break down releasing sweet-smelling vapors into the air. Oh, yes, sir. T tell me more. It pleases me to hear of your interest in the taponomic arts. Many lesser individuals would have turned their noses in disgust at the mere mention of a rotting corpse. I, however, find such topics endlessly fascinating. As do I. Please continue. Indeed. As I was saying, these gases, if not able to readily release themselves from the body, cause the cadaver to swell. That is, until the scavengers arrive. Flesh flies, rodents, wolves, I suppose Chokadai in this case, all have a keen interest in feasting upon the fallen flesh of a specimen like this one. Go on. Before I continue, I must ask where your polytheistical allegiances lie. I cannot offer my teachings to someone who follows the misguided harangues of another deity's lackey. Only those willing to devote themselves to Bertoxilus may receive the gifts that he has bequeathed to me. Before I do, uh, tell me more about Bertoxilus. Bertoxilus, the plague bringer, doesn't ally with any other god for he has little use of their idle bickering and futile schemes. Pestilence and decay know no ally, only death, the great equalizer of the cognizant masses. Famine is his sustenance, and disease his language. Continue. Would you like to accept him as your deity? Yes, I would. So now I am a worshiper. To follow his guidance is to accept that the frail shell that you call your body will eventually wither and fade like spoiled fruit fallen from a tree. Knowing this allows you to ascend from your corporeal trappings and embrace a truer notion of life and death. Knowledge of this grants one greater power than those entangled in the myopic obsession of carnal matters. I see. Well, I harbor no such obsessions. I wish to devote myself to Bertoxilus. Magnificent! Are you ready then to demonstrate your devotion to the plague bringer? Yes. Your words ring true in my ears. I am ready. Good. Accepting the rule of higher beings such as the plague bringers, the first step to achieving a fraction of the power that he wields. Through faith and devotion to his cause, trust is gained and knowledge is shared. Well, what can I do to show my devotion? Well, I'm glad you asked gaze upon this corpse for a moment. At first glance it appears like any other. 
mortal flesh engorged with blood that no longer flows from a now silent heart? However, it is that very blood which makes this specimen different from most sentient beings. Oh, what difference is that? These Sarnak, as they are known today, differ from the creations the fallen Ixar Emperor Atribi made ages ago. I've neither the time nor the interest to delve into their initial creation. However, this new breed of Sarnak has been further improved upon. They are far superior to their original design. These new Sarnak are tougher, stronger, and more resilient to disease. The latter quality I find most remarkable. All right, tell me more. As you can imagine, finding out exactly what makes them so resistant to plagues and other such maladies is of keen interest to me. Upon my arrival here, their researchers, known by the locals as parsers, were at first quite helpful in my research, though after they discovered the demise of one of their peers, the gentleman at your feet actually, um, I'm afraid they rescinded their hospitality quite quickly. Oh, so you killed this guy and were kicked out of Gorowin? Well, it, it was not as though his death was done in malice. He simply proved to me the exact point at which his constitution succumbed to the vast amount of hemotoxins I was administering to his bloodstream. Oh, of course. Well, suffice to say, the local authorities were quick to expel me from the premises uh, before I could complete my research of their ichor. Much to my displeasure, I have had to relocate to this abysmal alcove and conduct my research from afar. A most calamitous setback, I assure you. Well, how can I help? Well, that all depends. Have you yourself been exiled from Gorowin? Uh, no, and I hope not to be. Marvelous. Perhaps then, you might be able to help me complete my research on the principal inhabitants of Gorowin. I need you to speak with several of their parsers. Before my upheaval, I was in negotiation to receive a recently published tome concerning an anatomical study of their species. Okay. Also, I believe they were about to provide me with a Sarnak cadaver that I intend to use for a post-mortem examination. Apparently, their continued skirmishes with the Hawarins have not come without their share of loss. I'm sure they can spare a fallen comrade's lifeless carcass for the sake of empirical research. Well, what's wrong with this guy right here at your feet? Oh, he won't do. Sadly, the effects of the hematoxin I gave him have all but liquefied his organs. His body is of little use to me now. Okay, well, who should I speak with? Seek out Parser Airlock Rizrock. He's but a boy, though an enterprising youth at that. I had originally tasked him to produce the tome I seek, though I never got an opportunity to take it from him. He should possess that which I desire. Find him. Okay, and what about a corpse? Where do I find that? Alrighty, here we go. We got our first quest, and it is, as I'd mentioned uh, in, in the introduction, it is uh, level 20. And when we complete it, we will get the humble altar of Protoxilus and faction for him. This is a big part of why we do these quests. Oh yeah, the second part of your undertaking. Let me think. I'm positive that speaking with the leading members of their scientific community will yield the answer you seek. Just refrain from killing anyone in the city. Our research could be considerably compromised if both of us were forbidden. Very well. I will begin right away. Good. I 
eagerly await your return. Okay. All right, Karen, let's go. First, we got to find this airlock Rizrock. So what I want to do is get to the city. Actually, I might be able to tell from here. Well, he's not on this level. So let's take the teleporter and go down to the lower level. Maybe we'll find him down there. He's actually right out here. Looks like we gotta go up this ramp. He's up at the very top, apparently. Hello, you must be Airlock. Parsa Ulatha was my mentor. Did you know him before his life was extinguished? No, nope, I never met him. Well, he was a scholar of thaumaturgy and my sole educator on the subject. Well, I did hear that he was quite wise in his research of the Sarnax body functions and structure. Oh, what do you know of this? I thought you said you never met him. Well, I have not. However, the prophet of Protoxilus, Hrath Everstill, claims that he worked a great deal with Parsa Ulatha. Oh, did he now? Well... I'll have you know, it was Wrath himself who slew my former master. Uh-oh, maybe I shouldn't have said that. It was I who discovered them late one night in the parser's own research facility. My master's body was draped across a lab table like a cheap tablecloth, while a vessel pumped some sort of vile green substance into his body. Mr. Everstill looked, however, indifferent as he stood over him, taking notes at a feverish pace. Oh. Well, what happened next? I'm not going to speak about this. I must continue my studies, as though my master still stood over me today. Well, can you tell me uh, if you have a book on Sarnak Anatomy in your possession? Well, that's the same tome that your prophet tasked me with procuring. Hmm. Well, I never did get a chance to get that book from Talakla. N not that she's much into sharing anything anyway. Okay, that's all I need to know. Thank you. So now we got to look for Talakla. Guess I should be more careful about what I say. I don't want to get kicked out by being associated with this prophet, at least not yet. Okay, well we need to find this person, seems to be more inside the city. And it looks like probably up top, because there's not a whole lot down here at the bottom. Up oh, right there. And excuse me, ma'am. We have a word. Hail! For the last person who bugged me got pushed off this platform. What do you want? Make it quick. 
or you're about to become the loser of the last shoving match you ever played. Well, calm down, ma'am. Uh, Airlock mentioned you might have a tome on the anatomical study of Starnak. Do you still have it? Nah, I got rid of that days ago. Too many pictures of dismembered body parts and other gross stuff like that. Honestly, that book creeps me out. Not that I'm a sissy or anything. I just sold it. Made quite a score selling it to that old bag of bones, Voldick. Okay, where can I find this Voldick you speak of? Well, how should I know? I'm not his keeper. I'm sure he's somewhere around. Look around. Who knows what an anchor tanks he's doing with that book. Okay. I'll find him. Thank you. There he is. He is in this direction. Which means... He's down there somewhere. Let's see if we can get to him by going down over here. The city can be confusing, as I think I mentioned. It's better than it used to be. When the expansion first came out, there were cables that went across the center of this hole, and you had to actually wait for these cable platforms to come back and forth before you could get around to the other side. They didn't have the teleporters back then. Hello, Parser. I need to speak with you about a book. Greetings! Go away. I'm waiting here for Ulatha. Oh, you haven't heard? Oh, I better not say that because that might get me in trouble. Actually, sir, uh, I'm Ulatha's assistant. He asked me to borrow the book on Sarnak Anatomy. Do you have it? Oh, yes. Graski's Anatomy. Quite the omnibus of corporeal studies, really. Of course, Ulatha may borrow it. Heck, some of us contend that it uh, should really be titled Ulatha's Anatomy. But he's too modest to make such a claim. But look at me, Ramble on. Uh, the book, yes, the book. Look for it on the platform up there by the other research facilities. I'm sure you won't have trouble finding it, young one. Okay, thank you. Um, he also needs a recently deceased Sarnax cadaver. Do you know where I might find one? Uh, what? Ulatha also needs a recently deceased Sarnax cadaver. Where can I get one of them? Well, a request like that coming from anyone besides Ulatha would be met with quite a bit of suspicion. However, those of us within the scientific community are well versed in Ulatha's research. Seek out Prime Parser Tolok Kuele. He's in charge of all cadaverous matters. He should also be somewhere near the research facility. All right, thank you. Fantastic. Okay, now. I don't know. Can you even get over there from here? I don't think so. We need to get over there. Is this a is this a way down? No. Okay. That's fine. We will make our way around. We need to go back up though. So what we need to do is just kind of follow this ring, for the most part. There are quite a few quests in this zone if you start in Gorowen with a new character once you get here. Um, there's trainers, there's all kinds of things here. Now once you get to this part, I think we want to go down over here. 
but we're going to have to backtrack this way and back this way. Alright, we need to go in here to look for the book. The Grand Athenaeum. So we are going to look for it here. Grazek's Anatomy of the Sarnak Body. And now we need to find the Prime Parser Talok. Sorry, wrong turn. Okay, and where might he be? Across the way? So back we go. There he is. Hello. Yes? Please, keep this short. I have recently lost a senior colleague and I'm absolutely swamped in my work. Oh, I'll only be a moment. Uh, Voldick told me you might be able to procure a Sarnak corpse for me. Ah, it is you everyone's been speaking about. You should take care when asking for such a precious item as that. Oh, yes ma'am. Uh, whatever. Look, I just need a corpse to be used for an autopsy. Do you know where I can find one? I see. Well, I suppose we could spare corpse of an executed criminal. The citizens of Gorowin are quick to met out justice to those we find guilty of committing heinous crimes. Excellent. Where is it? Go to the beach underneath the Gorowin docks. I'll have a pupil of mine meet you there with the corpse. No sense in lugging the body up to a place like this, if you ask me. Oh, yes, very well. Thank you. All right, so now let's ride the let's take the portal down to the docks. Jump off over here, I guess. No idea exactly where this person is that we're looking for. And I do see the dot. There he is. No body here, though. Uh, hello? Greetings! Uh, you Elswitch? You fit the description. Yeah, that's me. Where's this cadaver Tolok promised me? <laughs> I got a cadaver for ya. Right here. Wait. It's a trick. Huh. That'll teach you to mess with me. Alright. So we picked up that cadaver. So now we gotta go back 
and talk to Frath. So we can go up here. Make our way back. So this first quest was not that hard at all. Just a lot of uh, introduction and reading and things like that. I'm sure these quests are going to get more complex as we move forward. I have never done most of these deity quest lines, so I'm not really sure what we're in for. So it's going to be fun. All right, Rath. I see you have brought a friend. Now, don't be rude. What is his name? Oh, well, an elder parser set me up, so I got ambushed by this assassin under Gorowin Docks. Don't worry, nobody saw. I see. How fortuitous it is that the local magistrates have donated a fresh corpse to our cause. I must remember to write them a thank you note. <laughs> Indeed, I've also recovered the tome. All right, we have our altar. The wonder kind has proved to be most resourceful. Excellent work. The research can now resume. Now, if you do not mind, I will need a considerable amount of time to conduct my studies before I can teach you your next lesson. All right, I'll leave you to your studies. We will speak later. I have brought us back to my little hovel because I wanted to share the first altar with you. Now you will get upgrades as you progress through the quest line, but initially you're not going to have the fanciest altar. They're quite large and I'm going to hit the shift key and scroll that down to size here, something a little bit more manageable. So it doesn't have the fancy uh, candles and all that stuff with it, uh, but that's fine. Now, when you click on it, you will see blessings on the left, miracles on the right. Your current faction with your deity is down here. Down here you'll see a make offering and the offering box. And this is where you will place items in order to sacrifice to your deity and get your faction up. Right now it looks like I have the option to pick up this miracle and this blessing. Now this blessing is called Grim Aura. The miracle is called Seeding Infection. And I'm not going to go over each of those uh, individually, but I just wanted to share this with you. You can see the different amounts of favor or faction that is re required to get these. Now I did happen to pick up a couple items. They're low level. But I wanted to show you, if I put this uh, fashioned bloodstone necklace, it's a handcrafted item. If I place this in the offering window, you can see that I will get 40 favor for it. Now some things are acceptable and some things are not. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit make offer. Do I want to sacrifice this? Yes, I do. So it worked. And I've also got this one. It's treasured. Now this one's only going to give me three favor. But 
there you go. And that's all you have to do. I guess if we looked at this necklace and compared it with this one, oh, it's probably because the necklace is level 40 and the girdle was only level 1. But there are things that are not going to be acceptable, and I'm not sure. There. I placed this head in there, and it says uh, Bertoxilus would be displeased with this offering, and you cannot even make an offering. So just kind of play around with items that you get and see if it's something that will work for you. Well, everybody, thank you for joining me today. Please give a like and subscribe. And if you'd like to support me further, you can become a member or a pop out a super chat for me. And uh, I hope to see you next time where we will continue on with the second devotion quest. Bye-bye now. Take care.